All right, we have improved the setup a little bit. Here is the, the screen as before. Then there's uh, the cable, uh, the screen cable, all the way over here to the box where we have our little PC. And the PC is this small little thing on top there. Your Dynon doesn't need much of a, of a PC. It uh, can run a really uh, simple, cheap little PC. So the PC is here and it has a, the USB cable goes to, down to the Your Dynon box, which just sits down here. And of course here is the the, the brake power supply, which is um, a bit too dangerous to to touch, so we're gonna we are gonna add a, a door here. So we did two more runs and now we have four curves that we can compare with each other. But before we do that, let's take a look at the options that we were using. So this is a brake dyno obviously and we have turned on this option here, compensate for inertia effects during acceleration. We have entered a moment of inertia here. And we also have turned on this enable correction for frictional losses from retardation data. So we will uh, record the data also during retardation to calculate what kind of losses we have from frictional losses. And then we will add that uh, to, the, um, to the wheel horsepower and torque to get the, the engine horsepower and torque. All right. So we can see from this uh, data that the curves uh, pretty much follow each other. Uh, the engine were at uh, various temperatures during these four runs and also the PID parameters were slightly different but we can see that they follow each other within about one horsepower so pretty good. Another interesting thing that we did, uh, we, did we ran a pure inertia run so these, uh, this uh, dyno has heavy rollers so we turned the brake off completely and ran uh, an inertia run and I can open that file and that looks like this. So um, this looks, uh, on the first blink of the eye, this looks very different from um, the, the, the other run. But the reason for that is that this run was, we did not do the retardation run. So this means you only get the wheel horsepower and wheel torque. And if we turn that on here, um, you see that the, um, the inertia run, which is this this color here, follows the, the, the run that uh, is done with the brake dyno very, very accurately. It's smack in the middle everywhere here. So here we have two very different ways of calculating the horsepower and, and torque, and the curves are very, very similar. So that's nice to see. Uh, one more thing to, um, to mention here. There is something going on in this area. Let me just turn off the inertia for a moment. Something is going on here. Um, so what can that be? Well, we can take a look at the, the wheel horsepower and wheel torque and we see that there is something going on down here. So this is during the retardation phase. Everything seems super smooth until we get to this area here. So it happened in every run. So obviously there is some kind of resonance in the dyno setup, uh, in the dyno car setup. Uh, that the instrument picks up and uh, this translates into noise. Of course, you can just increase the noise uh, or the smoothing factor and it should go away. Okay, I think that was all I wanted to show here. Very happy with those results.